hey guys i'm coming at you with another video and this time it's a what's in my bag and it's of my mcm the seto stark 32 backpack and the um the cognac color so here it is all packed up and ready to go it is heavy but this is what i would take with me on a typical day um just out and about nothing fancy nothing um like nothing like special for me doing um just out and about by myself not with my kids or anything but i mean i mean even if i did have them with me um i would still pack the same thing because they're older so i don't need to pack anything like special for them sippy cups passies diapers none of that kind of stuff um as you can see my phone fits perfectly on the side in the side pocket and in this particular backpack i don't mind um, having my phone in the side pocket usually I don't trust these pockets because I feel like somebody could just come by and swipe it but because it's kind of snug I would definitely feel someone trying to like wiggle it out of the pocket so I, I trust the side pocket and it actually comes in handy when I'm out and about and I need to put I need to be hands-free I can put my phone in here and um, uh, I don't have to worry about anyone taking it or it falling out, like me bending down to pick something up and then it falls out. I don't hear it fall and then I'm looking for my phone. So um, on the Stark 32 backpack, um, you're definitely going to be able to fit your phone in here and it's gonna be secure. You're not gonna have to worry about um, misplacing it. My phone is not in the case because I'm filming on it. I have the 12 regular, the iPhone 12 regular one, just standard. And that fits in there perfectly. And on the other side, I have the other side pocket. I have my LV um, key pouch. And inside my key pouch, I have my AirPod, not AirPod, but AirTag, Gym Pass, house key in there. And I keep that on the side, in the little side pocket right there. And then in the front pocket, I keep a mask because the mask mandate has come back so you have to have a mask when you go somewhere nowadays now again um my portable charger i got from ulta it's shaped like a little lipstick um my airpods just the regular ones not the pros my willada hand cream it's a deep pocket it's pretty it's nice. It's a little snug. It's a little tight. So you probably wouldn't be able to fit one of those little compact wallets in here. Um, you'd have to put it in on the inside of it. But it, if you have just like a card holder or like a thin wallet, you could definitely get it in here and have it um, like an easy access for you while you're out and about. My Fenty Goji Gang Slip Shine. Uh, I use it as a chapstick, but it's, it's like lip gloss, lipstick, kind of like sheer. But I use it just as like as a swipe, swipe chapstick while I'm out. Um, and my Lysol um, hand sanitizer spray and all of that fit in the front and that's all that I had in there let me try to get in there and show you the pocket I don't think I'll be able to show you there we go that's the gist of it and that it's that it's like from there on up so about maybe an inch maybe just shy of an inch um, in depth of that pocket and then um, I, I did want to note on the side pocket that there is a little ring on the side that I could hook. Like if I wanted to be extra secure, I could take the little the little um, lock part on my key pouch and like secure it to that, and then tuck the key pouch inside. Like if I wanted to be extra um, safe, like if I would probably do that if I I was at an airport or like at a concert or something like that. If I wanted to be super duper duper careful with my belongings and making sure that no one tried to like swipe it or it didn't fall out on its own or anything, I would do that. But just on a typical day, run into the grocery store, run into the mall, I would just put the key pouch in the pocket and, and leave this alone. So this backpack, um, because it's the 13 inch, it doesn't come with that like thin wall pocket in the back. I know the bigger ones come with that extra zip part back here in the back. This one just it's all one one compartment on the inside but just to give you like an overview i do have a um a review of this um backpack video um i can link it down below for you guys to 
to take a look at. I'm not going to review this backpack, but I'm just going to give you like an overview just in case you, you came here for uh, what's in my bag and you didn't necessarily want to see a review, a full review. Um, that's just what it looks like. Just a quick overview. It's not padded on the back, but it's definitely not... Um, it's not like hard either like you definitely are going to be comfortable while you're wearing this the shoulder pads however are shoulder straps however are padded this backpack is like if you want to be comfortable and hands-free while you're out and about get this backpack it's not too big not it's like literally perfect it's not one of the mini backpacks it's not like a full-size school backpack it's right in between that's like the perfect purse backpack <laughs> And I can, um, and this is like my one of my favorite styles of purses. Like if I had to have my choice, number one would be crossbody. And this is coming in at a close number two. I love backpacks. Um, I had been eyeing this for a while and I'm so glad I went ahead and, and took the plunge and made the uh, purchase because MCM, I noticed just had a price increase. So this used to be $7.95 and I got it for $8.52 plus tax. It came out to $8.52 at Nordstrom. No, wait, where did I get it from? Yeah, Nordstrom. Um, now it's 860 so they definitely went up so if you're thinking about purchasing one of these MCM is definitely gaining popularity definitely catching up with um, the bandwagon of your Louis of your Chanel and all that definitely take advantage of getting these things while they're at the price that they're at right now because they're only going to go up MCM however does have sales but typically not on their Vecetos print like it's very rare that this brown cognac Vecetos print will go on sale what you typically will see go on sale is like their other colors like green and orange and like their red Vecetos and those other colors that aren't as popular but like the black Vecetos and the cognac this brown color you're typically not going to see those go on sale you may catch a sale at Bloomingdale's when they have like the spend for every $50 you spend you get I mean for every 200 you spend you get $50 off and then it you get like $200 off the bag you might run into a sale like that before the bag to actually be on sale it's not going to happen, but you will be able to get some savings like at Bloomingdale's when they run those those specials. So if you're looking for one of these items, I would definitely stalk the Bloomingdale's website because when they run their specials and um, sales like that, you can really get some savings. And I think Neiman does the same thing for like every 200 you spend, you get $100 or you get a gift card, something like that. But definitely pay attention to those two websites. I have both of the apps downloaded on my phone and I just every once in a while I go and I peek and I see what kind of deals are running because when I have big purchases because this to me is a big purchase but when I have big purchases like this in mind that I want to do I always try to like be mindful of trying to catch those big um, stores those bigger retail stores to see when they're running those specials so you can get a sa you can get savings and you can get a deal so yeah and uh, don't guys don't mind my nails I am letting them breathe from acrylic and I painted them and it's chipping and I need to actually take this off and I will tomorrow and repaint them for church but um I'm just letting them breathe and I'm getting them redone next week because I start work um late next week so definitely want to have fresh set fresh set of acrylic for work but in the meantime I'm just letting them breathe because I had acrylic on them for basically the whole summer so let's get into the bag here's the inside of it let me try to pick it it's I got it packed down. It, it's kind of heavy, but this is the inside of the bag. There's no um, pocket right here. It's just all like that um, super like sturdy, super sturdy cotton, uh, not microfiber. It's just like a poly blend, like cotton poly blend. Like it's hard to describe. Um, but if you look on the Nordstrom website where I got it at, you'll it will it will tell you exactly what the fiber is. I mean, what the what the lining material is. It'll list it. And here's how I have it all packed on the inside. It's pretty wide. I mean, I got it packed full. That that space right there doesn't count. That's just a pocket. So from like this um, stitching on back is all of the width of the of the bag, and that's about I want to say that's a good five inches of width that you have. And I've got it packed full. So the first thing I'm going to take out, the most obvious thing that you guys can see is this umbrella. I just got it today on uh, Amazon. And um, I got this because I wanted to um, have an umbrella just for work so I can have it with me like in my work bags and stuff like that so I don't get caught in the rain. I do have another, like a couple other umbrellas, but they all have 
a different purpose yes i'm extra i know but i bought this specifically to have in my work bag so that like this is basically my work umbrella so i have um one with me at all times so i don't ever get caught in the rain because I, I like to really get dressed up for work and i don't want to ruin my outfit or my hair or my makeup so definitely got to have this with me just in case for those moments the next thing i'm going to pull out the bag is the most obvious thing and that's a mask um i got a pack of these where did i get these where did i get these oh the kitsch if if you've ever heard of the kish k-i-t-s-c-h brand it is a really, 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 really um, like comfy, cozy lifestyle brand. They sell like um, like hair scrunchies, um, like body care, facials and things like that. And it's really hard to describe hair scrunchies. Like you just go look at the website. It's kish.com, um, the way I spelled it before. Or you can go on their Instagram um, and just scroll their feed. Their feed is so aesthetically pleasing and satisfying you'll you'll enjoy it um and it's all like neutral colors and they they have like a wide variety of representation on their page like it's not just all the girls look one way like they all different hair types all different girls all different sizes all i mean just a variety when you go on there you'll you'll understand what i mean but i got um some masks from there because they their masks had really good reviews so i was like let me get some so they are um, they do live up to the hype they're really they're really good and they wash really well this one's kind of faded because it's black and i've washed it a ton but i haven't actually worn it in a while because the mask mandate was lifted so now that it's back in in um back into effect here in the carolinas i want to make sure that i always have it with me because they're doing the thing again where it's like they're stopping they're stopping you at the door like oh do you have a mask and i don't want to not be able to do what i need to do because i don't have it so i just want to make sure i always keep it with me so that was thrown right in the top and the next thing i'm going to pull out is my little tory Bur my tory birch um nylon pouch it came in a trio set and i have the other one in here and then the bigger one so it was like a mama daddy mama and baby this is the baby pouch and then the mama is in here and the daddy is in my gym bag and i will do a what's in my gym bag um some videos that i've seen on youtube I mean, these girls carry their life in their gym bags, but I'm just starting out in the gym. So my bag is not really that extensive, but I definitely will do that for girls like me that are just starting out getting their, their uh, health in order and things like that. And, you know, you want to see what, what you should carry to the gym. I should definitely do that video and I will. Anyway, in this bag, I am definitely not going to go through this every single piece, but I have um, like touch up makeup. Um, I don't typically touch up my makeup, but I definitely want to make sure that I have um, it just in case I need it. There's definitely been times where I wish I had touch up makeup with me. I literally never touch up my makeup while I'm out. Like once I leave for work that day, what I put on my face is what I put on my face. I may reapply a lipstick or a chapstick or something like that. But other than that, I do not touch up my makeup, but I definitely have had moments where I wish I had some makeup with me so I could do it like on the go, like scheduling and timing was off and I didn't have time to go home and get makeup. So definitely having it with me, um, it, I know is going to save me time. And I can like, if I need to do my makeup and I, I don't have time to do it at home, I can take this with me and do it on the go, like in a car. So um, this is what this is for, just in case something happens at work and I need to reapply makeup or something like that. I definitely got this thing packed with everything that I'll need and um I'm I'm actually I'm I am gonna go through everything so you can see exactly what um my touch up makeup looks like. Um I have Marc Jacobs so oh gosh. It's called sequins. It's the um liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna go over everything really quick. This is um blotting sheets for my oily T zone at times my Fenty blotting powder with the um, magnetic brush attached to it at the bottom. See? And it's, the powder's translucent. My Sephora, yeah, the Sephora um, eyeliner. My Marc Jacobs lipstick in J'adore, 220 J'adore. Um, Marc Jacobs Concealer in Tan 46. 
um, my NARS. Um, it's a bronzer, but I'm going to use it as a eyeshadow on the go. My um, Fenty Slip Shine and Makeout Break. It's a lighter. It's it's like a frosty looking color, if you know what, what I mean by that. The Goji Gang, the other one that I showed you guys is more of like a... Um, like if you're a brown girl, it would be your nude. Um, NARS lipstick in, 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 I forget what this is called, but it's really pretty. It matches like the packaging. This is actually um, free. I got it with my points at Sephora. It's like a, um, like a gold. You, like I could do like a light layer of that on top of the, of the Marc Jacobs um, lipstick and it would look really pretty. Um, this is Bare Minerals um, Travel Mascara. It's it's really good, actually. I really enjoy it. It makes my lashes super long. I don't even need falsies when I use that. Um, Marc Jacobs Lip Pencil. It matches perfectly with the that Marc Jacobs 220 lipstick. Like, literally, it's, it's perfect. And my Morphe um, Eyebrow Pencil. So that was everything I had in there. The only thing that I need to add to this in order to have, like, a complete like touch up bag so I don't really have to like go home or go buy anything as I need a foundation which I'm I'm looking for like a travel like little glass pot I can take some of my Fenty foundation and put it into like a travel case and then I'll just have like a um travel foundation with me and a um a sponge like an applicator and then that my makeup bag will be complete and I can take that with me anywhere just that just in case I need to touch up on the go um and then this is the bag to my reusable bag my Kate Spade reusable bag that I take with me um just in case I need an extra bag because this bag the way I have it packed I literally can't fit anything else in it so while I'm out and about if I need an extra bag I'd like to take this with me it's actually in the wash whenever I use it I always just put it in the wash so um that's where it's at it's in the it's in the wash and I just have like the the pouch that I put it in in my purse so I can remember like whenever I get done with my laundry to put it back because I use it all the time and then this pouch is my feminine hygiene pouch and it has like all your girly girl essentials for that time of the month and you know things to keep your body fresh and all that and I'm, I'm not gonna zip it open and show you guys everything but anything you think you may need to keep your body fresh and maintained and just in case you have an accident out somewhere it's in this bag next thing I'm gonna pull out is my coach rainbow pride collection of 2020 um, coin pouch um, I have I'll just show you guys I have USB cable lightning cable and um, headphones like the wired headphones just in case my airpods die or whatever if I forget them at home I, I, the most annoying thing in the world is to not have headphones when you want to listen to a song like a song comes on your heart you want to listen to it you don't have your headphones it is so annoying so I definitely went ahead and got some wired ones just to have just in case so that I can still listen to music because every once in a while I forget my AirPods at home and I always want to make sure I have something with me to um, listen to music or just take a phone call or whatever. Um, definitely not going to go through everything in this pouch, but this is my catch all. It has like all the things that um, all the like the little bits and bobs that you typically you, you never need, but you never know. And if I'm going to be out at work, you know, and away from home for that long, I want to make sure that I have what I need with me just in case I need it I don't ever want to be without these items so I mean I could very well leave this at home and not take it but I I would hate to be out and need something in here and not have this pouch then to just chuck it in here and not need it and but just know like okay I know if I have a hangnail or something like that like I have my nail clip in here or if it comes down to it and I get stranded somewhere I have a tiny little pack of um salt and pepper cashews in here that'll keep me keep me not feeling nauseous until I can get you know somewhere to get some food or something like that I have a pen in here I typically don't ever write um unless I'm planning um here at my desk and I have pens galore up here but just in case you know I'm somewhere and I don't want to use their pen because of everything going on right now um I have a pen in here like it, it's it's full of um 
all the things that you you may need but you know you're not going to need but you want to have them with you just in case and this is the mommy pouch of that tory birch um, pouch trio and when you you can hook them all together the other pouch the bigger one the daddy one that's in my gym bag it's it's that color it's dark blue you can hook them all together and they have like a like a change like not chain strap but like a leather strap and you can carry them all in a bunch but I probably will never carry it like that because it's so functional apart as three different as as three separate pouches. So this is how I carry this one, and this is it. And it's a it's a really good size for it to be a catch all. I really enjoy having those as my catch alls. I used to use my Louis Vuitton Etui Voyage in the PM size as a catch all, but I'm like, why am I using this as a catch all? This is not. You don't use Louis Vuitton as a catch all unless it's like a mini pochette or something like that. So I stored it to use as like a clutch for like special occasions. So let me show you guys. Now that that big compartment is open. Oh, hold on. That's what the bottom looks like. It's all empty. And then I just have things in these two pockets. There's a pocket right here. And then there's a back pocket right here. And this back pocket is padded so that if you have an iPad or like a tiny little MacBook 11 inch, you could fit it back there. I don't have a MacBook 11 inch, so I wouldn't be able to show you how it fits. I do, however, have a um, iPad Air 2020 and I have a short. I made a short of how that looks inside here with case and everything and it slips right in and there's like that much at the top to spare. So it definitely fits in perfectly. I have a MacBook 13 inch, but it doesn't fit because of the way that it's shaped. This bag is more like oval at the top and the, you know, the MacBook is squared off. So it would go in, but the, the corners would stick out on the side. So it doesn't fit. I have the MCM, um, Liz shopper in this color, the cognac color. And if I ever need to take my MacBook anywhere, I would just carry that. Or I have the coach Addison backpack and like the, um, like this, like the standard heritage coach print, like the brown coach print, um, I would just carry that one too. That's a 16 inch backpack. That's three inches taller than this one. And that MacBook would definitely fit in that coach backpack if I need to take it with me, if I wanted a backpack, but I have options in case I need to take my MacBook with me, but this won't fit a MacBook. But in the back, I have water wipes. I love these wipes. Um, to know me is to know that I love anything all natural. Um, if you try to give me something, I'm going to try to find the alternative for it that's healthier and that's more, you know, gentler for the skin, that's more as close to natural as possible. And I love baby wipes. I love having wipes with me because I'm, I'm just a clean freak. I always like to wipe my hands. I like to make sure the surface is where I'm sitting at or touching or whatever, or putting my things that are clean. And having a pack of these um, on hand is a must, a must, not even because of the pandemic, honestly. The pandemic just showed me how much other people aren't really mindful about, you know, touching surfaces. But things like this, the hand sanitizer spray, wipes, I always, I've always been that way. I've always kept these things on me. But anyway, um, these are like 90, 99.9% .9 water. And then the other percent is like preservative. So they don't like dry out or whatever. Um, gotta have these with me, carry these with me in case I need them for anything. It's, it's a brand new pack. I don't typically... Um, go anywhere for that long where I need to wipe something off but just in case I do I have these with me and then when I when I'm not carrying a big bag like this if I'm going compact I have wet ones like the little um, individual pack of wet ones like the little packs that have one in them I'll put those like in my key pouch and like I always have wipes with me and then what else I have in that back um, iPad not iPad air but just the iPad pocket um, is my Louis Vuitton pocket agenda in the monogram print. Um, I was using it as an agenda, but I really wasn't feeling it as an agenda and I was tempted to sell it, but then I sold my MCM trifold wallet, excuse me. And then I didn't have a wallet because I sold that other wallet. And then I, I um, sold my coach little card holder because it was just, it was sewn too tight. It was hard for me to get cards in and out of it. So um, I ended up selling that. So I didn't have a wallet. So I turned this into a wallet and this basically, I don't, I don't, don't want to show you guys my cards, but this basically is the way I have it situated. I ordered this little card thing um like the card keeper thing like the little plastic thing where I keep all my cards at I ordered that on Amazon and um it works like a charm and then I have like 
all my cards set up like this. And then I have cards in the front here and then I have my ID. It has three pockets right here for three card pockets right here for cards. And then it has a pocket right here. If you guys can see that I've got um, paperwork right here to take to work on my first day. And then it has a pocket back here that I have some um, personal cards back there. But overall, I think it's really good for um, I think it's really good for um, uh, you being used as a wallet and not as an agenda. I think this is a great alternative. It's cheaper than their wallets. Um, it, of course, it's advertised on the website as an agenda, but as you can see, I'm using it as a wallet and it's working just fine. It's really thin. It's really slim. I mean, it, it's longer than a card holder, but it's getting the job done and I've already spent the money on it. I don't really want to buy a wallet because this is definitely serving its purpose as a wallet. And then on that little pocket um, right in front of the iPad pocket is my little planner that I used to keep in um in my pocket agenda but now i just keep it with me just in case i need to confirm a date or if i'm out and about and i'm like oh shoot when was that and i don't i don't remember i have this with me in order to refer to that date or you guys know how planners work i don't even know what i'm talking about but i carry this with me just in case i need it i probably won't ever take it out of that pocket but just to have it with me just just in case is all that i need um but that's what i kept in that pocket but that is everything it is completely empty that is what i carry in this backpack i did pack it kind of full um i may take that umbrella out until i start work um that's a little much but it's been raining so much here in the carolinas the past couple of day weeks honestly when the sun comes out it like shocks me because it's been raining that much here um in the carolinas but i may or may not take that umbrella out but other than that everything else is like a staple i have to have it in my bag but i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely take advantage of this backpack if you're on the hunt for like the um the palm springs mm from louis vuitton they just had a price increase you're definitely saving yourself a lot of money getting this instead of the palm springs mm um it's a beautiful bag from louis vuitton of course but um as, as far as uh, craftsmanship is concerned you're not going to have to worry about that with mcm you may worry about quality with Louis Vuitton. You may have glazing issues. You may have zipper issues with that backpack. You may have all types of issues. Who knows? And then again, you may get a perfect piece. I hope you get a perfect piece, but you don't ever have to worry about that with MCM. You, they, they just get it right. You don't, it's not even, MCM's quality is never in, in question. Their craftsmanship is never in question because they get it right every time and you're saving a lot of money and it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. One thing I will say before I end the video is that all their all their hardware is 24 karat gold plated. Um, Louis Vuitton's is brass plated. Um, so that right there is like, okay, I'm saving money buying the bag and the the hardware is 24 karat gold plated. Like, of course, I'm going to, you know, choose the MCM. For me, it just makes more sense to choose this piece over the Louis Vuitton um, Palm Springs MM, which is kind of like the same size. Um it's kind of like comparable to this backpack um the 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 palm springs mm but if you i mean that if that bag's your twist then go ahead and get it but definitely take advantage of this they just had a price increase i got this um i want to say april i got this in april and i looked i was just you know just shooting around on the nordstrom website and looking at the price and it went up and i think that was like like a month ago so definitely definitely get this as soon as you can you will not regret it. It holds a ton. You'll be able to take everything that you need with you, plus more. Um, I highly recommend this backpack. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below. And again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, my channel is new, so I don't have many subscribers. I'm not really concerned about that. I just want to be informative because when I come to YouTube, I want to be informed. I'm looking for these videos because I have a bag in mind. I want to buy it. I want to know how it's going to work for me, what it looks like, how it feels, what can I pack in it. So I hope this video did that for you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.